So today we're going to test out the tensile strength of JB Weld. JB Weld has been an American household name since the 1960s, and a lot of mechanics swear by this stuff. It works on all different types of different surfaces, from metal to glass, cement. It really is a remarkable product. This is the classic two-part epoxy. It's rated for 5,020 PSI. What I've done is I've came up with this lifting implement. It's a threaded rod. The end has no threads. This yoke which was formerly used on a brake chamber, was totally ground off smooth. There's no threads left in this either. What we're gonna do is we're gonna insert the yoke on top of the threaded rod. The surface of the rod is gonna be totally smeared with JB Weld, and we're gonna seal it on top and bottom. Once the JB Weld sets, we're gonna use this as a lifting implement. This eye is gonna be um, bolted to some sort of rigging, and we're gonna test it in increment weights. We're gonna start with, say, 100 pounds to see if the JB Weld tensile strength will hold to 100, 300, 500, and so forth. Eventually, we're gonna see if this JB Weld, will it be able to lift the back end of a car? And we're gonna find out, so stay tuned. As you mix the two of them together, you're gonna to get a homogeneous, darker gray mixture. I'm gonna start here, that's about 50-50. You wanna have a nice homogeneous mixture. You apply it to the surface that you're looking to adhere. So we're gonna let that set for 24 hours. I just wanted to prop that up so it, it hardens in a square position. Stay tuned and we're gonna see if it can lift the back end of the car. So this is our design. Um, it's just some chains, basically chained to the handles of a conventional trash can. Um, this is where the JB Weld was inserted. Hmm. So I inserted. So it just slipped in. It just slipped in. I ground them off, and then as I smushed it together, I turned it like a half turn. So it's fully saturated. There's no air pockets. I drizzled like quite a bit of it. It's heavily. Okay. Um, it's heavily used over there too. I mean, where do you think, first off, I think in the equation, where do you think is the weakest point? Yeah. Hold on for a second. You think the JV Weld is yeah. the weakest point? I do, but I think it's gonna hold a decent amount. Okay. Let's see how many cinder blocks fit in this thing before I make a, a final call. Okay. So you, you ultimately think that the JV Weld's gonna, that this implement's gonna slip off this rod? Yes. Okay. I have to say that that's not the weakest point. Okay. I think that the weakest point is this master link right here in this chain. Really? Yeah, that's a quarter inch chain with a master link. Hmm. But it, that's rated, you know, that's quarter inch rated chain, um, which is rated for like 3,500 pounds. Wow. Okay. Um, You're thinking the JB Weld is really- I think the JB Weld is stronger than that quarter inch chain, yeah. So we'll find out in a yes. minute. Um, <laughs> I'm, gonna start stacking these, I'm gonna start stacking these cinder blocks up. Someone's gonna keep count. We'll just multiply however many cinder blocks times 38 and that's our lift weight. All right. Plus the weight of the barrel, which is say 12 pounds, plus the weight of the rigging below the JB Weld, which mm -hmm. is another 12 pounds. Yeah, I think it's definitely gonna pick these up. Okay. That's for sure. What's the best way to stack them? Straight? See, that's gonna be the hardest part. I don't think you're gonna get that many in here. Let's see. I can also put them on top. Alright, that's set so far. Yeah, I can put another three on top. Falls and snaps, it falls and snaps. That's 11. 418 pounds. Okay. Depending on how 
far the chain deflects, I can put two more here. Okay. Uh, but we're gonna test it. Yeah. We're gonna Get see how far it deflects. It's in good shape still? Yeah, it's in good shape. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty surprised. I mean, I didn't think, yeah, I don't know. After 16, I was thinking maybe, but I saw the shape of the bucket. Yeah. So that was definitely the weaker point. The bucket, yeah. Now, I'm, at first I was thinking, no way it's gonna pick this car up. Yeah. But now I'm thinking it's gonna pick the car up. <laughs> <laughs> I do too. <laughs> All right, well let's, We'll recoup this and we'll set it, set it back on the pallet and we'll start the next experiment. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna do, it's a two part test. We're gonna add another element to the experiment, which is to determine whether or not you can hypothetically remove a tire in the event of a breakdown in the middle of nowhere, just using a milk crate to suspend your car in the air while you get the tire on or off. So we're gonna lift the vehicle from the trunk latch, which is Ford's suggested lift point in the event of an emergency. No, it's not, just kidding. Perfect. Let's start the engine and find out. So now we're going to put the milk crates underneath the tires directly. 
So all of the deflection is going to be on the milk crate without the wood. We'll see if the milk crates hold it up. Well, what's next, man? I mean, if it lifted the car, what are you going to well, try next? I'm pretty imp impressed with uh, plastic technology these days. Looks like the milk crates are holding, despite their deformation. JB Weld has held up to every test we've been able to throw at it. Uh, I don't know. We need more weights. Yeah, we got to update. Yeah. <laughs> Let's figure out something heavier. We need more weights. It was like effortless. I was surprised to pick that car up so easily. <laughs> Once it went up, it went up. It went yeah. <laughs> see how it's holding up here. I don't see anything. Not even a bit. Wow. Are you overall impressed with the product? Did it exceed your expectations? Yeah, it did. <laughs> it definitely <laughs> did. I mean, I love JB Weld in general, but yeah, I'm impressed. <laughs> Wait, look at that milk crate. It's so deformed. I can't believe it's holding up. Yeah, I'm impressed with the milk crates too. And, uh, and that uh, trash bin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I think plastic technology's come a long way. Seriously. What All do you right. think would be the next step to Andy it up? I mean, we not, might not be able to do it today, but what would I you... I mean, probably come up pick with up a truck? Wait. A probably pickup truck or something? Wait. What's yeah. the limit of the, cr of the crane? I mean, I put a BMW on the trailer. On the, on the oh, I remember, yeah. So that was... So you could pick up a full car. Yeah, I could pick up a full car. That would be interesting to test. Yeah. We just need a donor. Right. A JB, a JB Weld donor. <laughs> Maybe the guy from JB Weld will donate a car. He'll say, yeah, we, we want you guys to lift it this. up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we'll figure out what's next. Yeah. The guy from JB Weld's gonna call you and say, John Hasbro, you're coming to, you're coming to Tennessee. Right.